to him showing you how you can get as much money and XP as you want in Trucker's MP. As you can see, I'm going to give myself 64 million in cash as well as 400,000 XP, making me level 74. So to get started, you just want to open up Trucker's MP and just, you know, make sure you uh, reach the launch pad over here. Then I recommend creating a new profile. You can do that by going over to Managing Profiles over here and then clicking on this New Profile button. Now why I recommend this is so that you don't ruin old progress. And if you give yourself infinite money and XP, well, you'll be able to buy anything anyway, so it doesn't matter if you already had trucks on another account. Anyways, um, you can just set this up real quick. There we go, basically I've selected everything here and then you want to click on this Create button. So I've set up everything over here, and now I can just click on this Create button. Once you've made your brand new profile, just head in and set everything up. So upon creating your profile, you will be prompted with taking a job, you know, once everything has been set up correctly. And now it is very important that you actually complete this job and that you do drive it. Um, why? I'll explain that once I've finished. Once you have arrived at your destination, um, it's important that you should probably not try Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Do you want to click on either Let's Play It Safe or Where Do You Need It? Do not skip it. Once again, that is important. Once you have completed your job, you're all set. You're going to want to download a program called Cheat Engine right over here. This is going to be linked somewhere near the top of the description. Together with my Discord server, I'd appreciate it if you could join that. Now as you can see in my downloads, I have Cheat Engine. Now you can double click on that, and then you'll need to go through the install process real quick. Trust me, it isn't that hard. It'll prompt you to install Norton or another antivirus. You want to click on Decline, then Decline, and then Decline. Then it should automatically open up. It'll open up this box as well, but you can just close that. There we go. Now there should be a box up in the top left over here, which is highlighted, just like so. That's the one you want to click on. Then here you want to select Euro Truck Simulator 2. That's the exact one you want. Once you have that selected, as you can see up over here, you want to check on ETS 2. Take a look at how much money you have. Currently I have 2,938 euros. Also, for this process, I highly recommend setting the amount of money you have to euros. And keep in mind that this will not work with a negative balance. If you have a negative balance, you will either need to take out a loan from the bank or just create a new account with positive balance. So what you want to do is locate the value box over here. And into this, you want to enter the amount of money you have. In my case, that is 2,900 and 38 just like so then you want to hit on this button which says first scan just like that that is going to complete a scan and you should find a bunch of stuff here now what we need to do is find a way to change the amount of money you have something you can do for example is take out a loan at the bank or buy a cosmetic for your truck however I don't own a truck and I'm not in the stage of the game where I can access the bank yet so I'm just going to have to take a quick job. Now you can sort them by root length and as you can see I have found a route here that is one kilometer. Okay there we go this job was a lot better than the last one. Anyways once you have completed your job or bought something for your truck or taken out a loan which as you can see is something I can do now um, at least just make sure that the amount of money you have has changed and also make sure that it is still positive. Alright, so in this value box over here you want to type the amount of money you have. In my case that is 3,301 euros still. Then you want to click on this next scan button and as you can see I am here left with only one value now in your case it might be 10 it might be 2 or it might be 1 um, you just want to make sure that it's not 500 if it is you might need to repeat this process again 
Anyways, I'll assume most of you don't have to. You want to select that and then press on this red arrow button. And if you have multiple, you want to select all of them. Then, once again, select every single one you have. In my case, it is only this one. Then, on this value over here, which is 3301, you want to double click on that. And now you'll get this box which says what value to change this to. And now here, basically, you can decide how much money you want. Now, don't enter in billions because that is not going to work. As you can see, I'm just going to play it safe. And I am going to give myself 64 million. There we go. I'm pretty sure that is million. That is indeed 64 million. Then you can click on OK right over there. Now head back into Truckers MP, and you'll need to head over and exit to the launch pad. Then just repeat the login process. And as you can see, I now have 64 million in cash. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Now, if your game is crashing or there's certain things happening, then what you want to do is make sure that you have less, that you only change one value, right? So let's say there were multiple things um, in the cheat engine. Make sure you only change one of them. Um, as well as make sure that you don't give yourself too much. I believe um, the max is at around 400 million. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you want to play it safe, don't give, don't give yourself anything more than 299 million. Anyways, of course, you can always do this again. So if I ever run out of money, I can do this as much times as I want all over again. Anyways, now if you wish, you can do the exact same thing with XP. So currently, I'm going to So currently I have 16 XP. So I'm going to enter that into this value box and then click on new scan. Then make sure your 16 is still there and click on this first scan button. Then there should be a bunch of stuff over here. Once again, you want to make sure that the amount of XP you have changes. So in this case, I've got this uh, route over here, which is one kilometer. And I'm going to hope to get some extra XP from that so that the value changes. Around a minute or two later, I have completed my job and I've amassed myself an extra 16 XP, bringing our total value to 32. Now in this value box, you want to remove your number and replace it with whatever you have. In my case, as you can see, that is 32. Then click on the Next Scan button, basically repeating the same process. Now, as you can see, for me, there's an awfully large amount of things here. So I'm quickly going to do something else. All right, I have once again increased my experience from 32 to 91 this time. So I can enter 91 into the machine and then click on Next Scan. As you can see, I only have three values now, so that is pretty good. I'll select all three of those and then click on this red arrow. Then I'll select all three of them again. Here we are. There we go. And then double click on the 91. Now, how much experience do I want? Let's go 400,000. Now, you can go way less high with experience than with money. Um, that's just how it works. Um, also, the chance that when you that your game crashes whilst entering experience is way higher. So be careful with these values here. Um, anyways, I am going to change mine to this though, and we'll see how it goes. Now, as you can see, I accidentally didn't change all of them. I thought I did. Um, so I'll have to go ahead and do that. There we are. That's been done. Now, once again, here in ETS2, you want to go over to the launch pad and then just log back in. Now as you can see I have a 400,000 XP and I'm at and I am a level 74 legend. That is pretty cool. Anyways you guys get the idea I can basically do what I want now. I can buy anything I want and level up all my skills to maximum. And that is basically how to do that. If you do have any questions or inquiries, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. For right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.